I wanted to do this video because no one my age had ever said anything about how drinking affected them. So I figured it was what happened to alcoholic old winos. Well, here I am. I'm real. And it happened to me. It's still happening to me. I'm told if I drink any more, I'll either die or my pancreas will get taken out. Then I'll be a diabetic and need enzyme treatment and all this other stuff I should have to think about. Better to just not drink, I reckon. It could happen to you. Your experience could be worse as I was told I had a mild attack. It could be similar, or it could be not as bad, but just remember that it could happen to you. No one told me to make this. I'm doing it because I want to, for me. In May to July this year, I had a pain that wouldn't go away in my left side. My mum took me to A&E. By the time we reached A&E, I was seeing stars. All my body was shaking and weak, and I couldn't think properly to answer the doctor's questions. He injected me with morphine. But I threw up again, all over the doctor as he did it. My body burned as they took blood, but all I could do was ride around crying because I was in so much pain. My mum held my hand as I cried. I was put on a drip, but carried on being sick. The following day the pain wasn't so bad. I didn't realise it was because of the painkillers. I tried eating after two days, but God, I felt so sick I wished I'd died afterwards. I had a CT scan, and I had to lie still, wrapped with pain, for ten minutes while they scanned me. I had no idea what pancreatitis was, I never even heard of it before, not even doing health and social care. My mum brought in this medical encyclopedia and I looked it up, I almost fainted. They shoved the camera down my throat, it felt horrible, and I wanted to throw up. When it was done they said I wouldn't remember anything, well I do, and it still makes me feel sick. The results came back, I had pancreatitis, I also had a judenal ulcer. I was discharged with painkillers and a drinking ban on the 20th of June. I haven't drank since then, and I'm still on painkillers. I missed most of my GCSEs because of it. I probably failed, and I don't know if I'll be allowed into sixth form or college. I'm writing this not for sympathy, but as a warning to all you people who go out on a Friday and Saturday underage and drink till you're legless, or even the people who don't drink much. Everyone's body is different, and I don't want it to happen to anyone else. It was, and still is, one of the most painful experiences of my life. Thank you.